So the next set of options that I wanted to talk about are the menu options. Uh, this is very important as a lot of it controls what is displayed in the menu. Uh, so starting from the first one, which is the main menu, the main menu height, that'll control how high this menu is. And if you increase the height, uh, for example, let's do that. Uh, instead of 84, I'll make it 184 uh, just to show you guys the effect that it'll have. And if I refresh this right now, you will see that the menu will move down. So you can see that uh, now the menu has considerably down before uh, than before. So you can change those settings and uh, that'll change the position of the menu. Then uh, you have the highlight style. So you can see a top bar right now it is set to like a top bar, the yellow bar. Quick pause. I hope you're enjoying my videos about professional web design using the Avada theme. Actually, these videos are a part of a very detailed video course that I created for Udemy. So if you would like to explore these topics in more detail and ask questions, check out my course on Udemy. The link with the discount coupon is in the description of the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do that because a lot more content is coming your way. Let's get back to the video. Here's the highlight style. You can do a bottom bar. Uh, so you can do a bottom bar just like the top bar if you wanted. Uh, arrow, background, color only. So those are the options that you can move to. Main menu highlight bar size. So that controls the size of this bar. So if you make that bigger or smaller that the highlighted item span will uh, be bigger or smaller. Main menu item padding will be uh, will control how much this menu item is padded from the container that it is contained in. So a slightly more advanced concept, but if you increase the increase it, the effect eventually will be that you'll start increasing the space between your menu items. So that's pretty easy way to think about it. Uh, main menu item padding on mobile that uh, is the same thing on the mobile display. Drop shadow will just add a shadow. So rest of these options are pretty straightforward and you just have to play around with them to see what the impact will on, uh, be on the site. Like drop down colors and hover cover colors. The important one that I wanted to go over is the typography options. So if you have uh, to display these in a specific font, uh, you can select that font here. So in here, um, it is being displayed as a DM Sans, which might be different to your uh, body text. So the body text might be something else. This might be some other font or this might be some other font. Uh, we'll see what that font is, but it could be something else. But the main menu font is uh, selected from menus, typography options, and you can main menu font hover active color uh, right now you see whatever page we are on turns yellow so if you want to change that yellow or when you hover over it it becomes yellow if you want to change that color you can override that option by default it's the primary color of your site and main menu drop down font color for stuff that drops down on the menu the font color is you can define that and the font sizes uh, for the menu, you can also define it over there. So typography options are fairly important and the ones up top, especially the menu height is very important. So I think pretty much uh, that is it what I wanted to cover about the main menu. Flyout menu is a special type of menu that only applies to certain header, header styles. So if you, I believe it's header style six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, so the modern hamburger style menu. If you have that and you click over this menu, basically what will happen is the menu will be displayed in the center and let's actually do that while we are here so we can play around with it and once we are done with it, we'll just revert the options. Okay, so that if one is changed and now I'll go back to flyout menu and these options are here. Uh, so I don't need to save them. I'll just refresh my site. So the modern hamburger style menu is displayed. 
and when I click on it you will see that it's like a light box that happens so you can see that the menu is displayed in the middle of the page and this uh, you can hardly see it the white because of how the color scheme is laid out uh, so the menu colors of for the flyout menu you can control from here so flyout menu icon color you can change and the background color you can change so instead of a black a white we'll go with a much darker one so if i change safe changes and refresh this and click on it again you will see that it looks much better so the options are white now and the background is gray and this menu is actually called the flyout menu so these options pertain to that one header style that we are referring to secondary top menu uh, that again is limited to the header style that we are using so if you are using header layouts two to five uh, right now it detects that we are on six so it's not going to display anything so let's put it back to two because two to five you notice that you can put a digitized menu up top so uh, if you're using that uh, those options can be controlled from the secondary top menu options and uh, mobile menu is what will be displayed on the mobile devices so like I was showing you in the responsive options video if you go on the mobile view your menu looks like that and when you click on it it's very similar to your flyout menu so that is what's controlling the mobile menu mega menu is something else and mega menu i will discuss in a separate video later so i don't think it's appropriate for this discussion uh, it's actually a menu like you'll see on uh, big e-commerce like macy's or kohl's and jc penny and places like that where they'll show multiple columns in a drop down so like uh, categories like sweaters or shirts or pants or whatever so that is what you do in a mega menu and you can also display icons in your menu if you'd like so those are the uh, mega uh, mega menu and the main menu icon icons that that's that are there so they go hand in hand with the icons uh, just to show you where the icons are if you go to appearance and menus then the menu icons here we you also have the options so avada menu options if you click on avada menu options you can select what menu will be displayed what icon will be displayed with the menu so you can associate menu with uh, icon and the icon options can be controlled by the icon options that i was just showing you like that so the icon color icon size uh, and paddings and things like that you can control from here so that's pretty much it what I wanted to discuss for the menu options and uh, if you have any questions about anything uh, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks so much for watching until next time